in the red. Over here at the bottom right, our player from TeamLiquid.net coming all the way to Korea from Sweden. We have... Who's our other guy, Tasis? Oh, you mean this guy? Well, not that guy. That's Jinro. But over here, in the top right, we have our Protoss representing Korea. Pretty even turnout for both of these guys here. Oh, yeah, they both have uh, huge amounts of their teams and uh, friend teams here cheering them on. Yeah. The last Foya versus the last Liquid for the last spot in the top four in the last GSL of 2010. Oh my god. The last open GSL. Before we go to code S. Yeah. S. Code S. Code S. Jinro has got to be feeling, um, you know, still positive oh, going definitely. into this. You know, he, he did lose that game on a great map. Uh, you know, it is one of these maps where it's a very balanced map, so losing there can kind of throw you off because you're like, ooh, ah, that's like the map you're supposed to win on if you're better, but yeah. don't worry, Jinro. It's okay, Jinro. Take no mind. Just stop what Choya Foley is going to do, and you will move on. He only has to win one of the next two games to move on to the round of four. Standard openers for both these guys. Not too much to say right now. Mm -hmm. Probably going to throw a tech lab on there. Would not surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. On this map, we do have this location in the back of your base. Everybody has one of these destructible debris but there is an expansion here also an expansion over here but a bit more vulnerable and that SCV can't decide what to do yeah he was gonna left get right left right I don't know <laughs> flips a coin goes up to the minerals goes back down realizes he already has minerals I guess I should have gone right in the first place poor SCV ah saving up for the factory ah <coughs> quick <coughs> factory yeah Built in such a position that he can float it away. To scout. So uh, we may see a build like in Steps of War. It is a very close position, so a build like that can be quite good. It's also a very safe build overall. Choi right now is getting that second gateway and chrono boosting through his uh, warp gates. Again, passive moment here for both these guys. Just building up. <coughs> Gateway on the way. Warp gate. Chrono boost not being saved. And that SCV Tasis that was scouting before, he's doing the same thing down here. Do I look off Left the and right. Left and right. Mountain? He likes to pace. Uh oh. Artosis. Uh oh, indeed. It is a proxy pylon. May we see some crazy warp gate play? The we second could. gas just being taken for Choya, so I'm going to definitely go ahead and say I think it's going to be warp gates. But actually, he's making so many units before the warp gates are done. We normally don't see this many. Curious to see what this pylon's going to be used for. There's no probe near it. Perhaps he just wanted to spot a drop. Pretty interesting by Jinro. Ah, there it goes. I'm like, well, he's not using it. You don't want to get a fusion core, do you? What are you doing with that? Well, he does get that tech lab. Oh. And it's scouting very well. Just show him the robo. So maybe not a warp gate all in here. Yeah. It's a uh, much safer build. A lot of units early on. So that he can out, out macro any uh, attacks and try to come up his ramp. I wonder if we'll cancel this. It's kind of like the most obvious thing to ever do mm. to build this under a scout. I guess not. That's just where he wanted it. A lot of stalkers here, Artosis. It is. And it has some zealots as well. In fact, this could be pretty hard, but Jinro bring up SCVs. He knows what is up. Safety Terran. Here he comes. Got a second bunker about to finish here, and he pops those Marines in there. 
Gonna walk by. This is gonna be a micro fest. The SCVs are gonna come out. You should bring out every SCV, all the Marines. You gotta take this very heavily. And he has a wall in down that ramp, so he's actually going to trap these guys in the corner, sending that mule back now. Here we go. We do have some Marauders coming out and throwing down. Oh, beautiful point defense drone right there. And Jinro. That was so good. He blocked it in there with yeah, that. Yeah, that was a beautiful Very nice. on the spot move. The mule is even in shock. And <laughs> I tell you what, Jinro is looking good right now. He didn't lose too many SCVs. He's down nope. to 19. There are 32 probes, but he does have those mules helping out. So, of course, uh, his economy is still right up there with his opponents. But we do see making off of just one base, the Robotics Bay. Interesting. Yeah, so he's going to go Colossus off one base against Jinro. It's another all-in. Yeah, it, well, you know, he also sees the Raven. So uh, Colossus is going to be very good against Point Defense Drone. That's true. You're like, Point Defense Drone, the Colossus is like, bzzr, bzzr, and your ring's like, ah! Wow, actually, that is so true. Yeah. That didn't occur to me. Yeah, he does see the Tech Lab. And, uh, yeah. You are smarter, Tosis. Tosis. You gotta get early in the day to fool this bear. <laughs> now, he is gonna get some Banshees here. Yeah. It's looking very much like his Steps of War build. Yep. This game, though, he already killed a lot of units. <laughs> Looks like we had the Banshee just doing some scouting. So he doesn't have to use a mule. There is no uh, Phoenix out this time, so it's not gonna die so easily. Still playing very carefully, not canceling those bunkers quite yet. And here comes the Banshee Harass. Take Two it kills out, already. Probes. Three kills. Oh, oops. Run, Jinro! Four kills. Very nice. He just flies away into space. That he does. We look at the unit count. 28 probes against 25 SCVs now. So he's caught up pretty quickly with that. We have combat shields on the way, as is a Viking. Very interesting. Oh, Banshee comes back. Five, Five kills. kills. Nice. It's a beautiful view. I know. Look at that. Wow. I wonder Marsara what planet that is, Artosis. So nice. Is that Marsara? I'm guessing it is. Could be. All right. More Stalkers coming out. Protoss is one base. is looking pretty fearsome. Yeah, he's got a lot of units right now. Oh, he's going to move out again. Terran also staying on one base. You know, I I would normally be like, oh, I hate this, but it's smart by Choya. You know, he has he has these Colossus oh. out. He's staying on the one base because he knows this rush, and he knows that it killed him when he was on two base. So he's actually in a pretty decent position, and going up to the ramp right now, if he attacks up the ramp, I might have a problem with it. He is. But he is going. And we will see a point defense drone going out and oh, nice. stimming away, taking out a bunch of units. That is definitely not Can't what he should have done. Can't believe he attacked up the ramp. I know, without Colossus range even. He attacks yeah. up the ramp into an arc of Marines and Marauders and a Raven. He did make the point defense drone go out, but he lost Colossus, which is worth more than that. Uh, it would have been much better to maybe just, you know, put a force field on the ramp. Looks like he's going to move out with a drop. But Protoss has gone all the way back home. Uh oh, Jinro he knows. somehow knows. He's listening to the Gom player in there. <laughs> Hiding a deep over here. To probably to check for drop. Yeah. Now, uh, Thermal Lance has begun. And it looks like Jinro is going to be the first to expand Tasteless. He is taking that back expansion. Protoss may expand very, very soon here, too. Yeah, it does look like it. May as well take out the rocks, even if you're not. But I would think he would expand right now. All right, Jinro has to be feeling pretty good. He killed that first Colossus. Only one out now here for a Protoss, second one on the way. And note, he hasn't actually expanded. Mm. Very smart, Jinro, right also, there. Also, another indecisive Marine, likes to pace. Are you a pacer, so Ortosis? I'm a pacer. I pace when I think. Me too. It's the best way to think. Yeah. A lot of Vikings out. I think Jinro, uh, he's getting a nice army composition while preparing 
this expansion, and it looks like... Oh, yeah, a Nexus saw... going up, but that's so close to Jinro's base. It's going to be something very easy for him to hit. Oh, cancels. Big Nexus. Oh, that's cool. That's All right. smart. Yeah, I like that. He lets him see the Nexus go up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and check. No, he didn't even see it go up. But I, I see what he was trying to do there. Yeah, but it did not work out. He didn't time it quite right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And Jinro decides it is time, but it is not time because Thermal Lance is done, and that is scary stuff. But with point defense drone, as well as Vikings, he's going to be able to take out that Colossus very quickly. Does he have enough for another point defense drone yet? Yes, he uh, does. Let's check. 163 energy. More than enough. Jinro scans. And oh. it is time. Here he goes. Jinro stemming in. Doesn't know what to do. Does he do it? Does he do it? Point oh, defense nice. drone is Point out. And he's going to go ahead and snipe these Colossus. But those Zealots are doing a really good job right now. And the second Colossus not going down. He loses all of his Vikings. So Choya playing very well right there. I would say that oh. that is a good position for him to be in. And look at this. Scorpion in the meantime, zealots. yeah. Nice little harassment. Jinro sees it instantaneously. And sends out Marauders to deal. And deal they will. Now, uh, Choya definitely won that battle and got a little bit ahead from it. You know, he killed a lot of important units that Jinro had, a lot of Vikings, as well as uh, the, the Raven, but Jinro has the expansion, so if he can turtle up quite a bit right now, like go up his ramp because, well, Choya has just so many units, he needs to turn around. using to expand. Very similar supplies, though. Here we okay, go. Let's see, the Vikings going after the Colossus. Jinro's going to be very careful with his micro here, pulling back. As the Zealots do hit. And Jinro is in trouble. There's so many units left here. And oh trap! My God. Beautiful That's force it. field by That's Choya. And GG. Man. Jinro loses game four. And it is tied up two to two. Choya with a, a happiness, a sigh of relief. A happiness. He is a happiness, man. He Gotta is be so really happy good. right now because it was looking like he was going to go out 03. But it is two to two. And Jinro now is like, what? I was up 2-0. I was supposed to win this by now. Sorry, buddy. We got to go on to game number five. It's going to be on Blistering Sands. Jinro's got to be pissed with himself over that last loss. Yeah. Um, he he got a little bit too aggressive. You know, he, was, he had that extra expansion. <laughs> yeah. And he just kind of attacked in. Uh, you know, I like the idea of point defense drone defending the Vikings while he killed the Colossi. But there were just so many units because his opponent refused to make a nexus. He just kept warping in round after round after round of Stalkers and Zealots. So got rid of that point defense drone very quickly. And the Zealots just chased away the rest of the army. And that was all she wrote for Jinro. A little bit of a mistake. That's yeah. all right, though. He's a solid player. We have Blistering Sands coming up. And if Choya plays like he did against I'm MVP, I'm feeling good for Jinro. Yeah, Blistering Sands is an interesting map. Games can end pretty quickly. TBP, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if we see Jinro use the same build again. Yeah, I think that would be a very fine choice on this map. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what he has planned. We'll have to see. I don't know. Uh, Choya? He, what, what will he do? He's actually had some really good rushes. I love the Zelnaga build of the Dark Templars, I have to say. That was a nice build. That was a really nice build. Very even safe and healthy came build. Back. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Choya, will he stay on one base? He may. I wouldn't blame him. Yeah. General probably be surprised. I mean, rethink his game plan, you know, what he was doing right in those first two games mm. compared to what he's doing wrong now. Well, yep, I'm excited, Tasteless. It all comes down to this. Will we have a Team Liquid member in the top four of I the GSL so. Season 3? We are hoping. We are yeah. rooting. Everyone, give your spirit Wait, power to We might actually go to a uh, break. Jinro. We've already had two games. I don't think so. It's possible. We'll see. We're going to find out in a minute here. Tasteless and Artosis. We love StarCraft. We love casting it for you guys. Yeah. Please spread the word. Get more people to tune in. You know, Jinro, he could have won that last game. Mm. Even more so than the second game. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. They're both pretty much on Jinro's favor. But, you know, one slip up and you lose. So that's all it takes. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Choya definitely likes to keep the tempo a little bit weird. Yeah, um, he does. Avoid 
making a standard game. That way his opponent is uh, thrown off. So That's let's right. see. I think we're about to start, Tasteless. I think so. I'm excited. <clears throat> Are you excited? And they all just cheered in front of their computers. Ah. Yeah. All right, countdown started. Let's go. 